to this week's episode of Explore, where we look at the life of Billy Pilgrim, the main character in the book Slaughterhouse Five, semi autobiographical novel written by Kurt Vonnegut. This is a science fiction laced anti war novel questioning man's capacity to choose free will, as Billy tells his story traveling back and forth in time. Billy Pilgrim was born in Ilium, New York, where he felt out of place and was often bullied. He was drafted in 1944, but he refused to fight and he became a chaplain's assistant, where he was chastised by fellow soldier Roland Weary. Weary was a proud soldier who saved Billy from certain death, despite Billy's objections, where he continually pleaded, you guys go on without me. But against Billy's wishes, Weary saves him as if it was predetermined. After being captured by the Germans, Billy was shipped to the work camps in Dresden, where he started a massive bombing campaign by hiding in a meat locker. The bombing killed over 100,000 people and haunted Billy his entire life. After the war, Billy returned to Ilium and suffered a nervous breakdown, likely due to the stress associated with the war. When Billy was released from the asylum, he marries Valencia Marble, and they have two children and become very successful. On his daughter's wedding day, Billy is again captured, but this time by an alien race, the Trophimadorians. These beings have the ability to see in four dimensions, meaning they simultaneously the past, present, and the future which changes Billy's perceptions on free will. While on Shelf Mador, Billy became an attraction in an alien zoo where he falls in love and has another child. But against his Billy's will, he is transported back to Earth and separated from his new family as if he had never left. Back on Earth, Billy is the sole survivor of a plane crash and his wife dies on her way to visit him at the hospital. These events likely triggered Billy to proclaim publicly that there is no free will. A view taken from his experiences on Trafalgar, as Billy was begging for the aliens not to press the button to blow up Earth, but the aliens simply declared, "He has always pressed it, and he always will. We always let him, and we always will let him." The moment is structured that way. Since the aliens' fate is predetermined, he has already pressed the button, and there is no choice in the matter. It is curious how Billy accesses time travel when he became desperate or during stressful events, using time travel to question his ability to choose free will. Slaughterhouse Five has been proclaimed as a transformative anti-war book, and I can see why. There are many aspects of the book that jump out at you. Author Kurt Vonnegut paints a very detailed description of the setting, whether it's war-torn Dresden or the zoos of Transformidia. You felt like you were there. However, the story is not in chronological order and jumps in and out of different time periods, which I find very confusing and a time period to follow. All in all, good book, but not quite the right book for me.